Hey guys, Drew back with you here on Z Code System. It's been a while, great to be back and bringing to you today a little video on the NCAA basketball tournament, which kicks off, or I should say tips off this week. Uh, well, today actually coming to you on Tuesday, we're going to have the first four, the first two of the first four games coming at you and some great basketball that's going to be played. And then the other first four games coming to you tomorrow on Wednesday, but we're going to take a little look at the general tournament, all the tournament that's going to be coming at you. And I'm going to give you some picks for games on Thursday for the NCAA tournament round number one. We'll take a look at a couple of games courtesy of the Z Code system wall. And if you're not a member of Z Code system and you're an NCAA basketball fan, then what are you waiting for? Get over to ZCodeSystem.com right now and sign up today for the best systems on the internet. You get all access to the systems and the different tools that we have there at Z Code System for your NCAA basketball betting. And if you also enjoy investing in other sports, such as the NBA or NHL, Major League Baseball, which is back after the lockout, uh, or if you want to wager on soccer, well, we've got all the tools you need right there at Z Code System to help you make educated sports investments every time. All right, so let's take a look at some of this NCAA basketball tournament that's coming at you. We're going to take a look at the odds for the teams uh, to win outright. And then we're going to take a look at a couple of games, like I said, that are going to be played on Thursday. And if you are living under a rock and you're not familiar with the NCAA basketball tournament, well, you can go over and read the blog there. It's got some information about the tournament upcoming, uh, key dates uh, for the entire tournament, and a look at, like I say, the odds, which we're going to talk about here, and uh, a few other things. Um, now, the tournament is going to be uh, the first tournament, I guess you could say, um, since the COVID-19 pandemic that feels like the traditional NCAA basketball tournament. Last year, there were a lot of uh, changes and tweaks and different things that the NCAA did to bring us the NCAA basketball tournament because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, the season before 2020, well, we didn't have an NCAA basketball tournament. It was canceled due to the pandemic. So uh, it's great to have the tournament back. Now, Gonzaga is the overall number one team, number one seed, I should say, uh, going in the tournament, followed by the reigning NCAA basketball champions, the Baylor Bears, Kansas Jayhawks, and Arizona are also number one seeds. So that's Gonzaga, Baylor, Kansas, and Arizona. And if you cast your mind back to last season's championship game, it was the Baylor Bears defeating the Gonzaga Bulldogs for the NCAA title. And, you know, if you watched my videos here before on the NCAA basketball tournament, you know my feelings about Gonzaga and how I rarely feel. They are very much overrated when the NCAA basketball tournament begins. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the odds for the upcoming basketball tournament, the NCAA basketball tournament, which kicks off, tips off, I should say again, tonight with the first four games and then kicks off proper, tips off proper, on Thursday with the actual first round of matches. Okay, so these are the odds from my favorite sports book. That's Bet365. Of course, your favorite sports book will have similar, maybe a little bit different odds uh, going into this game, just depending on what sports book you use. But Bet365 is my favorite sports book to use online. And as you can see there, we've got the Gonzaga Bulldogs, who are the number one seed going into this. And they are also the bookie's favorite at plus 300. We go down to Arizona at plus 600, Kentucky plus 800. They're not a number one seed yet. They are the third favorite, according to bookies, Kansas. And then we've got the reigning champion, Baylor Bears, Duke, uh, Mike Krzyzewski's last season as Duke coach. So, uh, you know, perhaps the Blue Devils can go out on a high. And as you can see there, we've got the odds for all 64 teams that will be competing. Well, I guess it's not 64 teams, it's 68 teams these days uh, with the first four games going on. But we've got the odds for all of these teams. And, you know, perhaps your alma mater or your favorite school uh, is, a, is a long shot and you want to take a punt on that. You know, maybe you want to lay down a dollar or two on, uh, say, a right state to go all the way. Now, obviously, there's a little chance that they're going to win it. Uh, but, you know, you might want to take that punt because who knows, one day one of these long shots could end up winning the NCAA basketball tournament, although it is highly unlikely. And uh, we've got... 
Um, most of the money I'm going to uh, assume is going to be going the way of some of these top teams, such as a Duke, such as a Gonzaga, such as an Arizona and Kentucky. These names are synonymous with college basketball, and uh, these are going to see a lot of the money this season uh, from the bookies. Or the bookies, I guess, will see a lot of money coming their way from the punters uh, during the month of March. Uh, March, such a great time of the year. Billions are bet on the NCAA basketball tournament. And if you're watching this video, then I'm sure you too are going to be investing in college basketball games this month. All right, let's take a look at a couple of the games that are going to be played here on Thursday with the NCAA basketball tournament. I'm going to give you our picks from Z-Code System, courtesy of the VIP wall. Okay, so if you've not used Z-Code System before, uh, or you've not watched any of our videos, this is our VIP wall, and you can go there uh, once you sign up, and you will have access to a lot of great information for whichever sport it is that you want to wager on. We've got baseball, NHL hockey, NBA, college basketball, soccer, tennis, KHL hockey, esports, table tennis, UFC. There's so much that you can wager on. Even AFL Aussie Rules football is available to wager on. So definitely, if you're not a member, you got to get there this week and sign up for the NCAA basketball tournament and as well as the playoffs coming up for the NBA and the NHL. All right, so we've got uh, our calendar here and the 17th is Thursday. So we're going to have our basketball games tipping off on Thursday. And, you know, I've said it before on these videos. I grew up in the U.S. and one of my favorite times as a kid in the 90s was getting up on those Thursdays when the tournament tipped off and staying home from school. My parents were very cool about that. Staying home from school and watching games from 11 in the morning our time until whatever it was, 11 o'clock at night, having all that basketball. And, you know, my parents were pretty cool letting me stay home on the Thursday and the Friday, those first days of the tournament to watch games pretty much from when I was maybe in fifth or sixth grade all the way till I was a senior in high school. So the first weekend of the NCAA basketball tournament always holds a special place in my heart. Uh, and even though um, time difference and things make it a little bit difficult to watch a lot of the games, I will definitely be tuning in throughout this first weekend watching wall-to-wall -wall basketball. So it's going to be a lot of fun in my household. Now, we've got a lot of good games that are going to be played uh, this weekend. So let's start off with that Gonzaga game because they're the number one overall seed and they're going to be playing Georgia State. And by all means, Gonzaga should be picking up the win uh, in this game. Now, we've got uh, this score prediction here and I'm going to obviously you're going to look at this and you're going to say what's going on with that well a lot of these predictions are based off of past history so we've got a upset here of 84 to 77 Georgia State but of course we're going to go against that because Gonzaga are the number one overall seed and there is no reason why Gonzaga should be losing to Georgia State so we're going to ignore this score prediction from Zico system. Because again, we're going off of some of the different uh, previous meetings between these teams. And we're going to ignore that because I'm banking on a massive Gonzaga win in this game. Gonzaga going into this game burning hot. Let me just move my picture down there. And we can see that uh, they come into this game. Yes, they did lose to St. Mary's on February 26th, but they come in on a two game winning streak, uh, winning streak, defeating San Francisco and St. Mary's once more. Now, the reason why I bring this Gonzaga game up uh, is mostly because I every time we do an NCAA basketball tournament video over the last few years, I've always said I don't fancy Gonzaga to win the NCAA basketball tournament. And this is something that goes back to the fact that I don't think that they play the strongest of conferences. Okay, They're playing teams like Pepperdine, Santa Clara. They're playing San Francisco and St. Mary's. This does not give me confidence that this is a team that's going to win the NCAA basketball tournament. Now, they've never won the NCAA basketball tournament. They've lost the championship game twice in the last five years, including last season. And once again, I have to say, I'm not going to be bank, uh, backing Gonzaga to win this tournament. Uh, and I think that for as good as they are in the regular season, they're going to fall short again this season. And they are, uh, since the 90s, they've always been a trendy pick. 
uh, into the NCAA basketball tournament. But again, that's that's my opinion, and uh, I'm going to be going against Gonzaga. Now, I won't be going against Gonzaga against Georgia State, uh, despite what the score prediction there is from Z Code system. As you can see there, Georgia State on a red hot roll right now. But looking at some of those teams that they've played, Georgia Southern, Louisiana Monroe, Louisiana Lafayette, Arkansas State. Those aren't teams necessarily at the level of Gonzaga. So we're back in Gonzaga in this game. And I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty large win for the Bulldogs uh, in this game. So I'm back in Gonzaga. And uh, we're going to go against that score prediction, uh, which was presented to us uh, by Z code system there. All right, let's take a look at a game with Michigan and Colorado State. Now, these are two decent sized programs that we're we'll going at it. Michigan, obviously, a one of the big programs. Colorado State are, uh, you know, we'll call a, a medium sized team going this game. And we've got a score prediction there of 81 to 64, a Michigan win in this game. And you can see all the metrics we have from Z code system. Uh, Colorado State. Take a look at them first here. Colorado State going into this game, losing, uh, winning, I guess you could say, four of their last six games, but they did lose on March 11th to San Diego State, 63-58, uh, which ended a four-game winning streak. And Michigan, now they are going into this game. They're not uh, in the best of form heading into this game, uh, losing on March 10th to Indiana by five points. They're having beaten Ohio State previously, but that's some hot and cold form right there, uh, losing to Iowa, defeating Michigan State, but then losing previously to Illinois. So this is going to be a pretty close game, uh, in my opinion. Um, we've got a sc the score prediction giving us uh, was that a 17 point difference there. Um, I think this is going to be quite uh, a close game. Perhaps we could see Colorado State uh, really challenge Michigan, possibly early on in this game. You know, this one may have a feeling of upset uh, for some basketball fans and, and pundits out there. I'm going Michigan to win this game, though. Uh, in the end, I think Michigan's uh, that strength of schedule and playing in the Big Ten will uh, help them get over the line and pick up another win to make it to the second round of the NCAA basketball tournament. Okay, let's take a look at one more pick this week uh, for the games on Thursday. And I'm going to go with that Creighton-San Diego State game, which could be a very intriguing game right here. Uh, we've got a San Diego State 83-71 to 71 score prediction pick in this game. And as you can see, they're burning hot right now. San Diego State, look at all these metrics you get with the C-Code system. All you have to do is just scroll over uh, these, and you're going to be getting all kinds of metrics to help you make educated sports investments. And I'm just going to take a look at the last six games. We can see that they went 5-1 and one in their last six games, losing on March 12th most recently to Boise State, 53-52. Very close game there. Uh, previously, we can see that San Diego State defeated Colorado State, Fresno State, uh, Nevada, uh, San Diego State uh, over Fresno State again, and Wyoming in those games. Creighton, they go into this game. Losers of three of their last five games, and we can see that on the March 12th, they were defeated by Villanova, 54-58 uh, there in the Big East. And uh, we've got two teams that you know, they look on paper a little bit evenly matched there. We've got San Diego State, who are the odds favorites to win this game, and you know we could see an upset in this game, and I wouldn't be surprised if we did uh, Creighton. Again, they're not playing the best of basketball, but... They could really come to the come to the fore here on this one, and I'm going to pick an upset with Creighton picking up a win over San Diego State uh, in this game. Two evenly matched teams, and I know we have a score prediction there, an 11 point win for San Diego State, but I'm going to go with a Creighton win uh, in this game. Uh, scroll down here just to take a look at a few of the uh, other metrics here. All right, and as you can see here, when I hit the drop down menu. We've got predictions and picks for all of the games that are been going on on Thursday. And then we will also have the games for Friday and updated every day for the games going forward in the NCAA basketball tournament. So guys, if you're not a member yet of Z Code System, what are you waiting for? Get over there now and sign up today. All right, let us know what you think of our picks down in the comments below. Let us know what games you're looking forward to. And if there are any games coming up that you would like to see us put a video together for, and preview here on our YouTube page. 
Guys, good luck with your NCAA basketball tournament betting. We hope that you have lots of success and that you're enjoying these videos and blogs that we're producing at Zcode System for you. And uh, yeah, good luck with all of your betting this weekend. And I hope you have a great time watching wall-to-wall -wall basketball. And we'll see you soon here on Zcode System.